Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Alpine Stars Supertech R10. Now let's talk about it. Now Alpine Stars has been around for donkey's years. They pretty much got us covered from head to toe, covering pretty much any kind of motorsport as well as some of the top athletes that we know and love. But they never did a helmet. Well, they did do the SM5, which is an off-roading helmet, but nothing for the road or for the track. So this is where the Supertech R10 comes in, and what a beauty it is. So this being their first ever road and track helmet, they left no stone unturned. Now you might be wary to put this on top of your head, but don't be too scared because this has been under development for over 10 years. Now with the lead designer, also former MotoGP rider Andrea Di Vicioso at the forefront of developing this lid too. And if you witnessed the last season of MotoGP, you might have seen this helmet on a couple of riders, one being Jorge Martin as well as Jack Miller, the Aussie boy that is really fantastic. I love that guy. Now. This has been in development for so long that you don't actually need to worry about it and this is something that they've only released now purely because they didn't want to release something that wasn't perfect. So let's talk about the specs. So at face value, let's look at the features and specs. So this comes in four different shell sizes ranging from XS to 2XL. If you're looking for the plain graphics, this being the glossy carbon on view, as well as the white colorway of this lid, then that would be around 849.99 RRP. Now, if you want the cool graphics with Alpine stars plastered everywhere, that'll be setting you back at 999.99 RRP, but definitely worth the price. This is obviously ECE 2206, and also reaches the FIM standards as well. This construction is made up of a multi-layer uh, carbon composite bonded with a strong resin, similar to what you'd find in a racetrack car even uh, in their roll cages and things such as that. When it comes to the EPS liner, you have eight different sections with six different densities uh, to increase the uh, impact absorption and also the rotational forces that we, we would encounter even if we came off of our motorcycle. So moving over to the shape and the aerodynamics of this lid, you can obviously tell this was made for the track. So if we look at the design of it, it is very aerodynamic, it is very clean in terms of its lines in order to aid for that clean air to pass over the top of the helmet as well as around the sides. More specifically, let's talk about the spoiler. So with the plain color graphics, you actually only get the road spoiler and the race spoiler is an optional extra, unless of course you get the ones with graphics and then it comes with both these options. Now, why we would possibly want the race spoiler is because it produces way more cleaner air over the top of your head and down to the rear of the motorcycle, especially when paired with an Alpine Stars one piece leather suit because the actual race spoiler will actually link up to the rear of the hump in order to get that clean air over the top and it reduces drag by about 4.45% as they say. But not only this, at the front, if you look at the visor itself, it's actually sculpted in a way again to produce that clean air over the top here, as well as these little side wings. Something that's very new and different that we've obviously seen on motorcycles, on the top of the line motorcycles, that is, like your R1s and your BMWs, is winglets. These, this helmet actually has winglets. And it's not just to look cool, and it's super functional as well. It does the same sort of thing like I was speaking about earlier, in order to give you that stability while you're cutting through the air pretty much like butter. So when you're going around corners, you're positioning on the bike, you actually age yourself to stop getting a, like a wind buffeting feeling as well as neck strain when you're going around at ear blistering speeds. Now moving on to the more techie parts, we can look at Alpine Star's patented system, the A-head system. This is super brand new and something iconic now to Alpine Stars themselves. So what this does is actually allow the wearer to customize the fit on top of the crown. When you want it to sit a bit higher up or a bit lower down, you can do that too with this new system. Now, why is it important to have something like this when we're on, out on the track and in the track lid as well? When you're in that fully tucked position, you can be looking through that eye port at a very steep angle. But when you're at normal riding speeds, the helmet will be tilted upwards. So instead of having to tilt your helmet up or down, it stays in a certain position that suits you the most. When it comes to the positioning points as well, we have four different adjustment tabs as well as three increments on each of those adjustment tabs. So you can get a really, really customizable fit for any kind of wearer. 
This also means that if you wanted the cheek pads to sit somewhere a bit different on your cheeks, then you could do that too with the customizable fit that you can do with this helmet. Not that you're gonna be struggling with any vision through this helmet because you have 220 degrees of lateral vision as well as 57 degrees of vertical vision as well. Moving on to the visor specifically, there is a little bit more tech to this as well. For optimal clarity through the visor, you have varying thicknesses from the sides to the center. At the sides, you have a thickness of 1.6 millimeters to a thickness of 2.6 at the front. You do also have tear-offs at the side here on this visor and it comes with a clear and dark tint in the box, I believe. You have the central clasp that might be a little bit annoying as you do have to push it inwards in order to open up the visor. But again, this is in order for it to not rise up in the event of an accident when you come off your motorcycle. And yes, it also has a recess for a pin lock. As you might have already seen, on the side of this helmet, you have a slightly different profile and construction at the bottom of the head port. So this is actually a lower profile to cater for better viewing and essentially a more comfortable feel when you're going around the track when you have your head in different positions. This is also to cater for the fact that if you do come off your motorcycle, it won't be as damaging to your collarbone as would other helmets be. Moving on to something crucial for every sort of helmet for us riders is the ventilation. Now this has 11 ventilation ports. So this means that there's seven intakes as well as four exhaust ports as well. So at the front, you actually get three, one on either side that's operated by a tab, and then also a rubber cover that you can remove in order to get more ventilation at the chin. Now, this is also an optional extra, just in case you're someone like me that might lose it. At the very top here, you have the four other intake vents operated by this slider. So you got the opening here, as well as one on either side here, and then this one at the top here. Now, when it comes to the exhaust, ports you have two actually at the chin again to just get rid of that dirty air as well as two massive exhaust ports at the rear tucked away underneath this spoiler. So when you are spending at this price point of around $849.99 and $999.99 for the graphics, you want to have a little bit more than just the helmet. So what comes in the box is actually a bag to carry the helmet in, as well as a clear visor if you don't want to wear the dark tint. You also get a breath deflector, as well as a Pinlock Max Vision visor. And if you go for the graphics, you do get the race spoiler and the bag. There's a lot more that is included in this, but it's just a bit long-winded to say everything that you can get with this beautiful track lid by Alpine Stars. Moving on to my final thoughts of this Supertech R10 helmet by Alpine Stars. Overall, I think this is a fantastic lid and it's definitely one to look out for and something to consider if you're getting yourself either on the track or wanting a more sportier lid. This has been under development for over 10 years and you can really see the details and the care that's been taken in order to produce this helmet. There's a few things and a few quirks that I think will be a little bit annoying down the line, but I'm sure that Alpine Stars will sort it out in the near future. That being the visor system. Actually, before the start of this recording, we were trying to get the visor system on, but it was a new concept and something new that I had to learn too. So it might just be first time error. But if I open up the visor all the way to the top, you'll see some orange tabs in here once this visor is off that actually need to be in a certain position in order for you to get this visor on. For those that want to know, this orange little thing that you see at the bottom here has to be at the very top of the crown here in order for the little tab of the visor to go in. And then, of course, when I close the visor here, the thing that might get on my nerves a little bit, but again, I haven't tested it out on the road, so I can't confirm for true facts, is that this visor tab might be a little bit annoying as you do have to press it inwards in order to lift it up. But overall, I feel like this is a really, really outstanding first take or first try at releasing a production lid uh, that for us riders to wear. So if you did like this video, give us a like, comment down below what you love about this Alpine Stars Super Tech R10. Be sure to subscribe, ride safe, and uh, see you all soon.